And here is your Jesse's Dead Glove, Michael. Stop purchasing 600 gloves in a row. <laughs> this is the Limited Part 2 glove. And it essentially has all the same things as a Limited Part 1, so the pipe cut from unflattened pipe, so it's still pretty hard uh, in terms of how it feels and being bendable. P210 replicas, standard with the blade break and all the damage that the Part 2 has. Uh, slightly different leather cuts, mostly, that this is cut all the way through and tore through. And the leather weathering is a little bit different. The back plate is essentially a more faded version. I think this is my favorite Part 2 back plate that I've ever done, or seen, honestly. Um, the weathering on this is also relatively natural. Um, I basically weather it up like a part one and then sand it clean like they did. And then obviously I add that dark weathering because that's not natural. I believe the part one was covered in spray paint at a few different points in time, or at least the part two was. You can see it in some of the movie stills. You can see all the different detailing on the tips as well. Index tip is basically the same. Middle is almost the same, with that flare out on the right, and then it has that jacked up bend on the length of it. Ring tip is the most different, and pinky tip is virtually the same. You can see a lot more of the tool marks, which are there on the part one, but they're covered up by the weathering. I'm not sure if it's focusing on it, but you should be able to see a lot of tool marks on the flats. Very curved pinky blade. The serration is on the blades as well as all the damage, whether you'll be able to see it or not. It's very cold outside, so I'm filming inside today. And the lighting is a bit different. But this glove is sharp too, uh, about the same sharpness as that glove, so kind of sharp, sharp enough. I'm not a knife sharpener, but I do what I can. Uh, we went full promo style for this one, so. The ring, the solder spills right there. The missing two rings. Split open palm. And then the uh, stain being still somewhat mostly visible. And I'll show you some of the uh, underside detailing on this one as well. Sorry, my pug is very loud and snorty. But that might just add to the glove. You can see that I went for a light... Oh yeah, and the ball is cut off as well on the two. I went for the lighter look on the top side of the leather. And then, like in some of the promo shots, it's very dark in this area. A little bit lighter down here. And this has... Oh, if I can get it off my hand. This has the same detailing underneath as the part one, and I tried to match them between these two as best as I could. The only difference being that it has a few missing rings, and there's actually marks where the rings were, because I did put rings here and then pull them out. You might be able to see that there's marks there too. I also tried to replicate the um, twisted parts of the wire as best as I could. And the solder on these rivets. I don't know when the rivets up here were damaged, so I just leave them since I'm not certain. But this looks like it was done early on. And it also has a uh, paper bread rivet for the pinky, which is accurate, unfortunately. Yeah, I hope you liked it, Michael. I have, I believe, three more of these available. So, if you want to get your hands on a very authentic part two, then uh, shoot me a message. They're 900 plus shipping because of the P210 replicas, so 800 without them, but you 
you almost definitely want them for a limited glove. So, let me know if anybody wants to grab one of these, and I will uh, keep the website updated on how many are left. I hope you like it, Michael, and I'll get this out to you with your part one as soon as I can.